So obviously, secant and tangent are not reciprocals of each other. Um, but to solve this, we need to get them to be the same. We need to either solve for secant or we need to solve by tangent. So what are some other ways that we've learned? Well, we've looked at our Pythagorean identities. And when looking at your Pythagorean identities, we know that secant and tangent are related to each other, aren't they? Yes. So obviously, guys, when, using, when thinking about solving, finding our answers, um, tangent is going to be what we're going to want to look for rather than secant. It's a lot easier for us to understand what the tangent, the answers to a tangent are because we know that tangent on the unit circle is your y coordinate over your x coordinate. Make sense? So yeah. I'm going to want to convert secant squared over to tangent. And I believe you can, I believe 1 of secant of x equals tangent squared of x. That is one of our Pythagorean identities. So if I want to solve for secant squared of x, what I would just say is um, secant squared of x also equals tangent squared of x minus 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, substitute in tangent squared of x minus 1 in for secant. So therefore, now we can have all the tangents. Yes? It's 1, of one plus tangent squared equals secant squared. 1 plus tangent squared equals secant squared? Oh, yeah. So it's already solved for me, so therefore, I'll just plug that in. I'll just plug 1 plus tangent squared in for x. So I have 2 times 1 plus tangent squared of x plus tangent squared of x minus 3 equals 0. Okay? You ever see why I did this? Now I have all tangents, which I can work with. Right? When I had secants and tangents, that kind of got a little difficult. But now I have all tangents, I'll use my distributive property, 2 plus 2 tan squared of x plus tan squared of x minus 3 equals 0. Well, here, what I can do is I, now I can combine my like terms. These are both tan squareds, so I can combine them, and I can combine these. So what I obtain is 3 tan squared of x minus 1 equals 0. Does everybody follow me? No questions? Okay. Now we just simply need to solve for our tangent of x. So I'll add 1 to both sides. 3 tan squared of x equals 1. Divide by 3. Tan squared of x equals 1 over 3. Then, to get rid of the square root, I need to take undo by taking the square root of both sides. Or get rid of the square, take the square root. So now I have tangent of x. And remember, this equals square root of 1 over square root of 3. Square root of 1, we obviously know is 1. Square root of 3 is, um, we need to rationalize. So I have square root of x equals, remember, we need to take the square root of both sides. It's plus or minus. Plus or minus 1 over radical 3. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we don't ever leave our radical on the bottom, so we rationalize the denominator. And we get is radical 3 over 3 plus or minus. Okay? So I need to figure out when is my coordinates on my unit circle tangent of x equals plus or minus radical 3 over 3. When do my coordinates y over x equal radical 3 over 3? Five or six. Okay, well, let's take a look, see if you're correct. So if I was going to have my unit circle, pi over 6 provides me this coordinate, radical 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. If that was my x coordinate and that was my y coordinate, to find tangent, I would have 1 half over radical 3 over 2. If I was going to simplify this, those would cancel out, I'd equal 1 over radical 3, simplify that again. Radical 3 over 3. So yes, you're right. Pi over 6 works. But then remember, guys, this is plus or minus. So it could be all the positives. So the other positive, um, down right here, and then the negative, right here, right here. So all of these points are going to work. So this is pi over 6, so we could say x is going to equal pi over 6. This point would be 5 pi over 6. 7 pi over 6, and 11 pi over 6. Make sense? 
So I see why I use all the values, not just the positive and the negative, because when you take that square root, you gotta remember that plus or minus, right? Any other basic questions? That's so. No? I don't know, do you have any questions? That's it, yes.